As Nigerians grapple with the aftermath of fuel subsidy removal, many Kano residents are opting for electric-powered motorbikes. Seen as a practical solution for daily commuting, electric bikes are quickly becoming a preferred alternative. In the past, for my daily movement, sometimes I even used to spend up to 3,000 naira. But with this bike, I can save that money. Once it's fully charged, I use it to go to the market and about town every day. Especially during this time that everything is expensive. Uh, this electric bike is more economical because the issue of buying fuel and uh, also buying engine oil is now out of it. Despite the challenge of unreliable power supply in some parts of the state, both users and sellers of electric motorbikes say there's a solution, unlike the petrol-powered bikes, which rely solely on costly fuel. Yes, it's possible that power supply can be a challenge when using this bike, but we know that uh, there's also the possibility of using the solar uh, power apart from the normal electricity to charge the bike, and I think that makes the electric bike worth it. She machine solar na charge. Yes, the bike can be charged with solar power, and that is the advantage, although uh, it's with the kind of solar power that works with AC, not DC. Then there is also the need for a power surge protector. So with all these, I believe there are advantages in using the electric-powered bike. The shift to electric bikes isn't just about saving costs. It's also about cutting carbon emissions. With zero harmful gases, Electric bikes are key to improving air quality in urban areas like Kado. Despite the rising popularity, major motorcycle dealers say the demand for petrol-powered models remains strong. You know, people are just getting to understand the use of this electric-powered bike. So while we're seeing more interest in this bike, we know that many customers still prefer the old petrol bikes due to the established spare parts and also the reliability. As residents embrace electric-powered motorbikes, the future of commuting in Kano State is leaning towards more sustainable, eco-friendly options. Abdulaziz Ibrahim, Trust TV News.